All right, check it out. Things are exciting at Carl's. Finally, after the last couple of years, we have a fairly decent stock of Honda walk behind mowers. This is the most Honda walk behind mowers that we have had here on site in the last couple of years. We're still missing a couple models, but I wanted to take an opportunity to just kind of walk up the model range since I haven't been able to fully do that. I still can't fully do it, but since I haven't been able to do it since uh, I produced our last Honda video that compared the HRN and the HRX. So right now in front of me, I have five Honda mowers. In actuality, I am missing one on this side. That would be a push. One right here, I'll put it right here, that's going to be an electric start version. One right here that's going to be an electric start version. And then also one here on the far end that's an electric start version of the homeowner mower. So realistically, Honda has one, two, three, four more mowers that I am missing, right? Let's talk about those real quick as we move up the product line, talk about a few of the differences. What I get is I spend an extra $100 or $150 and step up the line. We're not going to talk pricing today because it's pretty fluid, right? Things are moving. Things are going up. We're in a, in a time where there's some inflation going on. So if I go all the way to my left side, this mythical mower that's not here is the HRN 216 PKA. That P stands for push. I think. I don't know if it really does, but I think it stands for push. So it's going to look identical to this mower right here, except for this little flippy lever, make it drive thing. Okay. So if you have a very basic lawn, it's a flat lawn, a small lawn, and, and you want to get your exercise, you don't want to have a push or I mean a self-propelled mower, you're fine with pushing it. The HRN 216 PKA may be a great mower, but let me tell you something. Honda is not making those right now. It's not worth them making that mower because the sales aren't there. So they're putting their production efforts into other machines. So we move from this PKA down here on the left-hand side to the VYA, hold on, VKA. I knew that I was wrong there. The VKA, and this is the GCV 170 engine, the HRN 216, the steel deck, with rear wheel drive, smart drive, self-propelled. Okay, the next mower that we're missing goes right here. And it's gonna look identical to this again, except for right here on the side, there's gonna be a little key switch. So that adds electric start. And in order to operate that machine, I pull this lever back, I turn the key, and it starts up. And I mow until the bag is full or until I'm done mowing because I'm mulching or I have to cross the driveway. And I let go of this lever and it dies. And then I can turn the key and start it again. Again, a model that Honda is, I don't know if they're making it right now. It just seems to be something they're not putting their efforts into that. And then we have the top of the line HRN series, which is the HRN 216VYA. And you see they look very similar, but we have the yellow button. The yellow button is awesome. If you're looking at a Honda mower, it's worth, if you can get it, looking at the models with the yellow button. That means I start my mower and I have a running engine, but when I want to mow, I push this yellow button, blade on, blade off, blade on, blade off. Advantage of that is that every time I go to empty the bag or pick up the balls that the kids left on the yard or maybe some dog poop, or drive it over my driveway, I can shut the blades off, yet keep the engine running. So just really only one or two pulls to mow the whole lawn. That's a nice feature. Okay, so in the HRN series, we've got the push, the standard VKA, the electric start VLA, and then the top of the line, the VYA with the roto stop. From there, we jump up to the HRX series. And if you wanna know the difference between the HRN and the HRX, we do have a video on that, check it out. It's a great video that just goes over the basic differences and why the HRX may be right for you or the HRN. So we start with the HRX 217 VKA and this guy actually competes with the HRN 216 
VKA. Okay, very similar in their operation, right? I hold this lever back, I pull the rope, it starts, it's running. When I let go, it dies. We have the select drive on the HRX series. We have the smart drive on the HRN, but, but really kind of the same design, on and off design. From the HRX 217 VKA, we step up to the HRX 217 V. LA. That's right here. And it's going to look identical to this baby, except for there's a key on the side. Remember that down here on the HRN where we had the VKA and the VLA? Same thing. I hold this lever in. I turn the key. Fires up. I mow, I mow, I mow until I need to let go of this handle and then it shuts off. Everything's dead. Again, hold that back, turn the key and up it fires. Other than that, no difference between them. Then we take another step from the VLA to the VYA. Again, a VYA. Ah, there was a VYA right here, right? The yellow button. Okay, so on this mower, turn it on, pull the rope. It's running. No blades. Running. Perfect. But I want my blades on. I push the yellow button. I pull the lever back. The blades are on. Again, useful if I'm going to be stopping or interrupting my mowing throughout my yard. Move stuff, move to a different part of the yard, empty the bag. Very awesome feature, the yellow button is. From the VYA, we move up to the HYA, okay? From the VYA, move up to the HYA. And very similar, right? The whole bottom looks the same until we get to these handles, okay? And the difference comes in the way that this machine is driven. The HYA has kind of become known as the Cadillac of Honda HRX mowers, of Honda mowers, period. It has this orange lever on the side. This has a hydrostatic transmission, a variable speed hydrostatic transmission. I put this lever anywhere I want in this range, and this machine will go that speed to, ma to match your lawn, your walk, whatever's working for you. And the yellow button on this one is over here. This handle design is more reminiscent of the commercial, the HRC series. So many people are used to this. They love it. They love how it works for their property. It has the clutch, right, the yellow button, and it has the hydrostatic transmission. And then there is one more mower in the homeowner series on the top of this, and that is the HZA. And it's this mower, the HRX217 HYA, with a key. So you've got shoulder problems, arm problems. You just can't start a mower. Go outside, flip it on, turn the key. Starts up. It's running, right? Push the yellow button. Blades on. Let go. Blades off. But again, the mower doesn't stop. So there you go. Really kind of exciting that I have five different models of Honda mowers in stock. Sorry I don't have everyone. Normally we at Carl's here would carry the full line, but it is what it is. But an opportunity for you to see kind of the differences as you move up the range of Honda mowers, picking out what's right for you. Hey, if you have a small lawn or you mulch the whole lawn, you maybe don't need the yellow button. If you're mowing a larger property, you have a lot of obstacles, or you're emptying the bag all the time, it might be worth considering the roto stuff. So, to learn more about Honda Mower, stop by your local Honda dealer. Don't go to a box store. I mean, really? Are you going to learn anything there? You're going to look at some pictures, and maybe the guy that sold you a plunger would, could tell you a little bit about it. But stop by your local dealer. Have them walk through it with you. Hopefully, they have the model that you want and need. It's a little bit of a challenging time. But right now, exciting, at Carl's Mower and Saw, we have several Hondas in stock. Hey, we'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we 